Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Tech Defense Channel. The old plane A-29 Super Tucano might soon be able to unstealth Moscow's latest fighter. The Embraer EMB-314 Super Tucano is a counterinsurgency capable turboprop engine trainer aircraft or anti-guerrilla attack aircraft made by Embraer Defense System. The prototype of the Super Tucano first flew in 1992. Both Tucano and Super Tucano were developed by Embraer, a Brazilian aerospace and defense company. Embraer manufactures the aircraft in Brazil and also partnered with Sierra Nevada Corporation to produce the aircraft in the United States for export customers. In addition to basic and advanced pilot training, the main missions of the aircraft are border patrol and counterinsurgency operations. Embraer has unveiled its A-29 Super Tucano light attack aircraft in a NATO configuration at a military technology convention in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. More than 15 international defense organizations operate the aircraft, including the United States Air Force. Standard modules of the A-29 consist of an electro-optical infrared system, laser target tracker, secure voice communications, and night vision goggles. Its rugged design is specialized for operating from unpaved runways and remote airfields with little support. This feature enables the A-29 to be highly available and deployed at low cost. The A-29 Super Tucano represents the gold standard in its field combining superior aircraft performance with 21st century weapons, integrated sensors, and surveillance systems to create a highly influential air power component, the company said. The single-engine Super Tucano has a maximum speed of nearly 370 miles per hour and a range of nearly 700 miles, while carrying more than 3,000 pounds of weaponry. The single-seat turboprops have a 50-caliber machine gun in each wing and can a variety of bombs, rockets, and gun pods. To help spot targets, the aircraft have powerful cameras that work in poor weather or at night. The A-29 Super Tucano is a very good plane and couldn't come sooner. As the United States-led coalition in Afghanistan draws down, the aerial support it provides to Kabul's forces will eventually leave as well. Western jets still provide vital air cover during operations against the Taliban and other groups. This fighting aircraft will provide security and combat support from the ground units in ground operation. For years, the United States Air Force has been dispatching high-performance fighter jets like F-16 Fighting Falcon and F-15 Strike Eagle that cost tens of thousands of dollars per flight hour to operate in order to chuck costly smart bombs against scrubby insurgents with rusty AK-47 hiding in caves or, at best, driving a pickup truck slinging an old Soviet machine gun on the back. There are five hard points for carrying weapons, and the aircraft is capable of holding a maximum external load of 1,500 kilograms. The aircraft is armed with two wing-mounted 12.7 mm machine guns with a rate of fire of 1,100 rounds a minute and is capable of carrying general-purpose bombs and guided air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles. Brazilian AF aircraft are armed with the MAA-1 Piranha short-range infrared guided air-to-air -air missile from Orbita. The Super Tucano aircraft is a durable and versatile aircraft equipped with a powerful turboprop arrangement. 
It is claimed to be the only military type certified aircraft in the light attack class. The aircraft ensures low operational and sustainment costs. The EMB-314 Super Tucano is an enhanced version of the EMB-312 Tucano trainer aircraft that features faster speed and higher altitude capabilities. The flight envelope of the aircraft is 7 grams and minus 3.5 grams. Its small size, small visual and radar signatures, together with high speed and agility, give the aircraft high survivability. Additional survivability features include armor protection and critical systems redundancy. With the new A-29 Super Tucano, the Air Force hopes to take an important step toward plugging this dangerous gap. But Kabul still has a number of hurdles to overcome before the aircraft has any real effect on the battlefield. The A-29 Super Tucano will have to be ready to go consistently to have any serious impact on the fighting. Especially if they're dispersed at sites around the country, any combination of these issues could easily sideline the planes. That's the end of this video. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and see you in the next video.